and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a bike that's on sale right now. It is the K6 Pro Long Range EUY bike. And first of all, the bike is regularly priced at $18.99. It's going right now for $13.99, a $500 savings. And I think this bike is a pretty good deal. I'm going to go over some of the specs on the bike. First of all, I want to mention the colors of the bike. So it's, it's offered in dark gray or camel gold colors. Those are the two colors. This is a folding bike. 20 by 4 inch flat tire. So some of the things the bike has to offer would be uh, it is a 1000 watt motor and that uh, is a 48 volt that 1000 watt motor has a peak though of 1500 so pretty good some pretty good uh, power there and That motor will get you 96 newton meters of torque. The battery is a 48 volt, 25 amp hour. So a pretty nice battery. Um, so you got your 1000 watt motor peaking at 1500, 48 volt, uh, and a battery that's 25 amp hour. So the Maximum speed they say of this bike is 20, uh, 28 miles per hour. So it is a uh, class three bike. And the range they're saying 50 to 55 miles throttle only and 80 to 88 miles on pedal assist. It has eight gears and it has a pedal assist level looks like five pedal assist levels on this bike I don't think I don't think that the bike will get that range I would be surprised but then again it could very well be but uh, a lot of times and as I've mentioned this before but I always think of it this way especially if you're riding fast if you're riding you know pedal to the metal kind of deal uh, a lot uh, of your riding then I always uh, look at the uh, amp hour of the battery as every amp hour is one mile uh, one mile um, travel so like if you're riding a bike that can go like for example this bike 28 miles per hour and you're riding at 28 miles per hour all the time with uh, throttle only then I think you're probably going to be closer to the 25 maybe you can squeak out to 30 uh, but that's what I would guess uh, but anyway that's what they're saying uh, the bike does come with fenders and a rear rack which is nice they're throwing those in right now as part of this uh, sale also a tool kit as well let's see what else can I tell you about this bike so the the uh, weight so they list the bike as with battery 81 pounds and 71.2 without the battery so basically the battery is about 10 pounds which sounds about right for a 25 amp hour battery I'm surprised it's not even a touch heavier than that but anyway um, the payload capacity though of this bike is 400 pounds so uh, you can be a big bigger rider or you can be a rider that likes to carry a lot of uh, extra weight with you uh, be it cargo or whatever and uh, the bike uh, you know with that 400 pounds uh, you'll be just fine so uh, Let's see what else the thing has here. Uh, 
I can remember what else. Oh, the torque. I don't know if I mentioned the torque. Uh, 96 Newton meters. So uh, that's pretty good. You know, a lot of bikes, most times, if you uh, get to 80, you're lucky on a lot of bikes. But uh, 96 is, is getting up there. Um, that should be uh, pretty good for uh, hill climbing, I would think. Um, that guy came kind of close to me, I'd say. It does have fat tires. It is a 20 inch by 4 inch fat tire. This is a folding bike, as I mentioned. It comes with a headlight, tail light. I don't think there's signal lights with it. And I don't know if the... Uh, it has brake light. I will leave a uh, link in the description and you can uh, get the full uh, specs on the bike. It looks pretty good though. I kind of like this bike. It's, uh, I think it's worth it for $13.99. $18.99. I'd probably have a look around, but I'll tell you for $13.99, if you don't want to spend a boatload of money. It does have hydraulic uh, disc brakes. Um, I did not see. It may have this and I didn't notice it, but I could be wrong here on suspension. I don't know what the suspension is on this bike and I apologize for not knowing that. I should have. Uh, usually I, uh, it's one of the things I like to look at on the bike to see what it's got. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention on the bike that um, I'm not a big fan of. If you're a taller uh, person, then I think you're going to like this. So they recommend riders between five foot seven and six foot five, as the seat height is minimum 35 inches. It's adjustable up to 46 inches, and I'm thinking, boy, that's. Uh, I mean, that's fine if you're a bigger guy, but what if you're or gal and you're only five foot two or three you know like 35 inches i think is just too high and uh yeah i uh don't like that um so if i was to give this bike a strike that's where i would give it a strike it's adjustable uh seat and i'm wondering why is the minimum 35 inches my goodness that's way too high i think the minimum on a, on a bike like that, that's adjustable, should be more like 30 inches. 30 inches to uh, 40 or something like that, or 30 inches to 42 or whatever, but my goodness, uh, 35 inches, I would have trouble. I'm five foot nine, I bet you I would have trouble getting on that bike. Uh, with this, I had obviously have the seat all the way down for me, but, uh, somebody that's five foot two they just can't there's no way they can get on that bike so that's that's a strike right there i would say so if you're a shorter rider then unfortunately i don't know if this is going to be the bike for you and that's too bad but otherwise i i kind of like this bike you know for it looks good um i've never had a folding bike but uh, they are intriguing i don't know how awkward they are to fold or anything like that but uh i do like the idea of a folding bike though and uh someday i'll probably get the opportunity to actually uh, try one but all in all it's free shipping i uh, failed to mention that too in the u.s all in all, I think it's worth it though. A, a, a thousand watt motor that peaks at 1500, 48 volt, mind you, uh, 52 would be better. But I think for this price point, I don't think you can expect 52 volt. And um, the battery, a 25 amp hour, hey, that's pretty good. Uh, we're seeing more and more bikes now with bigger batteries. I mean, the days of getting the 14 amp hour 
are starting to uh, disappear, which is good. I think a bike should have at least a minimum of 20 amp hour, no matter what kind of bike it is, you know, uh, minimum 20. But uh, all in all, a pretty good price, I'd say, though. $13.99, regular $18.99. And that's the EUI bike. The K6 Pro Long Range Fat Tire Folding Bike. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.